So this is my top 10 list, and I am Alex Moltman for 2015. This is my top 10 list. This is number 10, Ubongo. Okay, and why do you like this game? Because it's a puzzle game and gems. Like this. And do you usually win, or is it kind of a mix? Mix. Alright, so number 10, Ubongo by Cosmos Games. Right. What's number nine? Forbid Forbidden Desert. And so what kind of game is this? Um, cooperative. Mm -hmm. So what are you trying to do as a team? Rebuild your ship. This is the timer for if you die. It's like how much, how strong the wind is, right? Yes. And as it gets stronger, what happens more? You get more... It goes up. And then you get more of these, right? Yeah. And this is the kind of piece. Mm -hmm. This is the piece for the ship. These are the other pieces you put on the ship. These are for some of the cards. So they'll show which direction the wind goes, right? And the sand blows all over everything. And the different characters get different abilities. And the different characters get different abilities. Oh, and you can get like... Oh, and here are the extra stuff. And these are the guys you can use. Cool. And do you usually die or do you usually win when we play this? We usually win. But we haven't tried to go on more difficult levels yet, right? Yeah. So we can try that sometime. And that's by Game Right, and it comes in this cool tin. Cool. And you have played the other one, Forbidden Island, but you like this one better? Yeah. All right. So. Mm. Number eight. Number eight. Cool. And you like the normal Carcassonne too, but you just happen to yeah. choose South Seas because you like to I show this one. Okay. And what's the difference with this one? Because you still you still lay you, you still lay tiles like regular Carcassonne, but what did they change for this one? They have the banana and shell and fish. And the different colors of new holes. We've also got ships. I can get some more ships. And what do you do? What do you, how do you? What do you do with the ships? And you get points. And these are the shells and fish and the animals. Which is very cool. And then. And what happens with that? Cool. That was number eight, Carcassonne, and this version is South Sea. Yeah, it didn't come with the game either. Just that giant bag. And this one is made by Z Man Games, but some of the older ones, or I guess it's. <laughs> Yeah.
seven. What is it? How do you put them on the board? It's kind of a different way, right? Uh, I forgot. Okay. And you I pick them up from one space and then you drop them off, right? And these are some of the tiles. Points and special powers and stuff. These are some more genies. These are more of the genies. And then there are other cards. Like cards like this, or cards like this, slave cards. And there's some other cool wooden pieces as well as the people, yeah. right? And as well as these things. Show for your turn marker. There are also. These palm trees and like city places, and then there are like these camel things, and there are also money, which is also victory points, just like in Small World. Yes, Six. Is Ticket to Ride. And is it just this version or are you like pretty much any this version? This version is the best. Because Merkle is too crazy. Okay. Way too crazy. What about uh, some of the other boards like India or. Yeah, that, that one's okay. Mm -hmm. And then there's this board. This, this is only a piece of the board. Mm -hmm. So, how does this one work? There's also train pieces like blue, yellow, and black, green, and red. So how do you how do you build those trains? By getting colors. And how you get colors are from these cards. for getting points. 
And then there are root cards. Where if you finish it, you get points. So what are you trying to connect with the root cards? We're trying to use trains to connect them. And that's the game. Cool. So that's a fun one. Why is Marklin too crazy? Because of the passengers. Hmm. Just makes it too, too nervous, or you and like the first it? time, and that time we played it, it was just crazy. Mm. All right, so number six, ticket to ride. What's number five? Five is Seven Wonders. I like it because I like it. But let me show you the piece. These are the number three cards because they have number three on the back. But then there are fighting cards and there are purple cards. There are also blue cards and green cards and yellow cards. But then there's also number two cards. There's the same kinds of. And the brown cards. There are also free cards. We're getting like stuff to build with, like this. Mm -hmm. And that's for the wonders. Is there any particular ones you like to use a lot, or that you don't like, or you like them all? This one we actually built in Minecraft. Oh yeah, the lighthouse. And we also built this one in Minecraft. But the one I like is this one, because it gives you a lot of leaders when you play with leaders. Mm -hmm. And you like the leaders expansion, right? Yeah. How about the city's expansion? That one's good too, because I like, also like the black cards. What about the Babel expansion? That one's good. It also looks different. So number five, Seven Wonders. What's number four? Number four, Agricola. Now, do you like to play the full game, or do you like to play a different version? I like to play the full game. Or is it the family version? Family version. Right. So you don't use the occupations cards and the minor improvement cards, not yet. And the time all three of us played it, Duncan got begging cards. Oh, yeah. Why, do you remember why he got begging cards? Because he didn't have enough food. Yeah. So what's this game about? So, these are about like the, like, um, uh, Different kinds of resources. Foods. And this is what, like, um, uh, these are the cows. These are boars. These are more boars. And these are sheep. These are places, like, fields. We can grow stuff. And these are clay houses. You can also turn them into stone from being wood and clay. And what are about these parts? These are fences. Do you remember why you need those? To keep the animals from running away. <laughs> yeah. It's also made by a man. Oh, you're right. And it's Uwe Rosenberg. And this is part of the board. So what do you do on your turn? This too. What you do on your turn is, because you have guys, you move them and they can get stuff. Like... And the backs of the player boards have a bunch of stuff on it that I don't know if you've even seen those before, because usually you're looking at the other side. And these are where you can get like clay and stuff. 
Um, these are the different kind of things. This is food. This is reed. That one's wheat. Okay. So this one's wheat. Is this one reed? Mm hmm And then this one is kit. I mean, vegetable. This one is rock, clay, and wood. This one is cow, boar or pig, and sheep. What did you do a lot of in your game to get, get, get enough food? Get enough food and get a lot of boars. Yeah. Do you remember how you turned the boars into food? Cook them. Yeah. These are some of the pieces. These are, I don't know what. We didn't play with them the time we played it. The time we played it. These are like wood and food. This is a bag for wheels and houses. These are feet. These are and bear. These are cows. This is clay. This one is The regular version with all the occupations there are the yellow cards and then there's the so there's different ways you can expand it if you want to make it more complicated later. That was number four. What have you got for number three? I and like it. And it's one of my older games. My brother likes it too. And what he also you likes the version is this one? So why do you, why do you like this game so much? Well, you like putting these combinations together and conquering, right? These are the gnomes, lizard men, mummies. And how do you figure out how many guys you start with on your turn? Because of these and these. So if you connect these two, you would get ten. Uh, okay. Right? Mm hmm And those give you special powers, right? And these are the lizard men. Be like this too, or it could be like this, or this, or anything else. Cool. All the other. Stuff. You've also got expansions, which also has other new races or other special powers too, like royal bonus, spider's web. Do not be afraid. Be not afraid, yeah. And cursed Great Danes, mm -hmm. Necromancer Island, leaders. Leaders we would put into all of these ones of the races, and those would be the leaders. And what happened? We would put it in a normal small world game. 
what happens when your uh, what happens when your race isn't doing very well anymore? What do you do? Incline. And then what happens after that? Go extinct, and you get a new race or pay for new race. Cool. Kind of. All right. So that was number three. And there are coins too that look like this. Oh, and there are also special stuff that you get from monsters like this. You can't move it around because it's a temple one. But this one, where there's a bag, you will be able to move it around. And that's the game. Cool. Do you have a favorite race anymore or not anymore? I don't even have a favorite race. I like lots of races. Especially the ones from expansions. Yeah, because of the expansions, it gives so many combinations, so it's really a lot of fun, right? I was actually talking to someone else. Now, number two, King of New York. I know it's on somebody else's list, too, but it's also on mine. And this is the board. And where do you have to, where are you trying to go to These on the are board? The gigantic dice. So this is a star. This is an ouchie. No, damage. This is an ouchie. This is a energy cube. A heart. A building smash. And there's nothing else. So what do you do on your turn? You... Or actually, who, who do you get to choose to be in this game? You get to choose any, more, any one monster. And these are three of the monsters that, they, that there are. And what are you trying to do in the game? You're trying to either get the most stars or kill all the other monsters, or they kill each other. And then here, here are the energy cubes. And what are those for? These are the buildings. These are army units after you destroy the building. What do you do with the energy cubes? You get to buy cards. These are the stands for your monster. But these are the cards. And they give you special powers? Yep. They give you special powers. And that's the game. And then... I yellow. And what is coming in as your number one game? This is my number one game. What's it called? It's called Castles of Mad King Ludwig. Wow. And why do you like this one so much? Because you're building a castle and you get to be the master builder and you get to choose the price. Oh, okay. And, and what happens when you choose the price? These are different rooms. This is the master builder thing. These are the colors. And this is the scoring token thingies. And then these are the money you have to pay to get it. These are the small squares of the room. These are the giant rooms. These are the elbow piece rooms. And so what do the colors mean on the rooms? Different Stuff. Yeah, like you get a different bonus depending on what kind so of room it is. Outside rooms, activity rooms, downstairs rooms, or even sleeping rooms, eating rooms, and washing rooms. There are even stairs and hallways. 
and small circle rooms and big rectangle rooms. Yeah, so there are downstairs, corridor, so downstairs, corridor, I think, mm -hmm. living, sleeping, food, utility, utility, outdoor, and activity. Those are all the different kinds of rooms. And what about those little uh, orangey cards? Those are what you get points for having all of them. So that's like your secret task cards that you're trying yeah. to... Yeah. So if you have one of this, 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 and this, you'll get eight points. What? I got one of these cards when I played. And what do you put on these things? The, the big circle. Big, big circle. So those are the ones. Every what you get points for. Those are the ones everybody knows about. Yeah. Cool. So why do you like this game so much? It's just a lot of fun to build a castle. Yep. And be the master builder. So when you're the master builder, do you like to make the stuff that you want cheap, or do you make it expensive, or I like you just kind of mess expensive. up everything? Yeah. When I when I'm the master builder, because I know everybody has less money, and so I screwed up the. So that was a pretty good mix of games. You've got some building games, you've got some fighting games, you've got some train games, even a cooperative game, and well, even a puzzle I game. I don't really have any, yeah, well, only like one fighting game. <laughs> cool. That's the only fighting game. So this is, your, this is your July 2015 top 10 list. Do you think that your list is going to change soon? Yeah, I think it's going to change when Tokaido comes. We've ordered the big one, and it still hasn't come. Right. We ordered it like last year's summer, and it still hasn't come. Okay. <laughs> All right. So keep gaming.